Carlos. I'm here with my buddy Steven in Jersey City. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Carlos. How are you? I'm great. It's always a great time when we're doing videos together. And uh, today is no exception. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited for this one, too. New I release. am, too. Our friend Andy Tower sent us a sample, which has a new... This is cool. It comes... The sample sits in this thing here. That is pretty cool. And it has a description here. And uh, it came sprayed, drenched in the scent. Okay. <laughs> so this is called Low. It's a summer fragrance from Andy Tower. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys know who he is. I love much of his work. And this is his latest one. Okay, awesome. Now, with the pentagonal bottles, that's one of them, the pentagonal bottles. It's mm -hmm. not numbered, though. Right. So you have, like, a classics collection where they're numbered. And this one, like the release from last year, Au Cœur du Désert, mm -hmm. was not numbered. And that was a fabulous release. That yeah. You remember how much I loved it on your video. Yeah, I really enjoy that one. And he has 25 of them. Now, he okay. does have two collections. Mm -hmm. It's the Pentagonal Bottles and then the Tower Bill. Cool. So this is a summer fragrance, but it's done in traditional Andy style. It has oomph. It's not a fleeting citrus. It has some cojones, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so what it says here, it says... Lowe combines a natural citrus cord of Italian bergamot, lemon, and orange oil with fresh lemon blossom and shimmering iris flowers. Bright sounds musky good. woods and ambergris provide lift. That sounds amazing. So we spray it on here. Thank you. It's definitely citrusy, but it there's a little skanky something in the yeah. underneath on the skin anyway. Mm. You smell. You smell the musk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the only two animalic ingredients would be the musk and the ambergris. Um, yeah, there's a musky component to it, mm -hmm. but I do get that lemon loud yes. and clear. Yes. Does it smell floral at all to you? Mm, ever so slightly. Yeah, because I'm thinking about the the lemon blossom, mm -hmm. the iris. So it does have some floral notes in here, but just slightly, like you said, it's more citrusy and kind of animalic, more so than anything. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's not a fleeting, screechy citrus either. Mm -hmm. It's rather full. It smells like an Andy fragrance for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like that it's not the run-of-the-mill citrus. That it does have that character about it where you can detect that it's going to last. Mm -hmm. It's not fleeting. It's not e ephemeral. It's going to sit on the skin for a while. Yeah, for sure. Has there ever been an Andy Tower fragrance that didn't perform well on you? <laughs> Off the top of my head, no. I mean, listen, Lair du Désert Marocain, Marocain, Marocain <laughs> is one of my top fragrances ever. Yeah. I love that baby so much. Um, no, I can't think of one that didn't last. His, Same. His fragrances definitely perform, for sure. Yeah, and he has a degree in chemistry, mm -hmm. and he knows how to use fixatives in such a way that his fragrances last for a long time. And I have a few. I have... Um, Gosh, Better for Dance, mm -hmm. uh, Incense Rose. That's I have a great one. Love that number one. two, Laird du Desert Marocain, bunch of Tyreville mm -hmm. scents. So I mean, the guy knows what he's doing for sure. So this is priced more on the uh, higher end. Well, and they're still not expensive, really. I think they're like one twenty or something. Yeah, it's just a little over a hundred, and I, I think they're all still signed. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to check, but I, I believe so. All the bottles that I purchased from him, they're all signed on the inside. You open up the container, it has, and I know he's changed the presentation mm -hmm. somewhat. I think it's improved now, actually. And on the inside, there's a little card and he signs it. He says, enjoy, then he writes, tower. There was a card in this package. He was signed there? It and it's, when you opened it, he sprayed it on. The, yeah, he definitely had a, added a personal touch to it, for sure. Yeah, there's, there's the tension to detail. It's cool. So if you like something that's a little fuller, not your... Fleeting citrus fragrance, you'll probably find it here. Mm -hmm. I, I recommend it for sure. I'll maybe next summer. I'm already we're already here in summer, so I I'm done spending for now, but I know. I think he did a good job in what he intended to do. Absolutely, me too. I also want to point out that I get a little bit of like a sweetness from it. You did. And it keeps me going back to it. It's kind of like a lemon cookie. Mmm, yeah. It has that tower DNA in there. It's kind it of does. like a musky lemon cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that's odd but listen it works it works definitely works and yeah. people online have been raving about it from what i've been seeing i know for granted it already has it for something 
Wow. And Four I, out of five. And all the <laughs> fragrance groups on Facebook, people have been talking about it. So it's gathering its own buzz on its own. And that's how yeah. it should be, you know? Yeah. And I think he's pretty consistent as a perfumer. He just releases really good stuff. He has a certain style and he sticks to it mm -hmm. and it works. Yeah. So we're fans, mister. Thank you for yeah. sharing Thank this you. with us. I'd love to share this sample with you because he sent two. So if you don't oh, mind, I'll cool. send him a sample. Not at all. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to my friend Steven here Thank at Little Lessons, then like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite tower of fragrance is. And that's it. Sounds good. All right. Very generous. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you with the next review. Take care, guys.